welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paris and I'm here today with another video. I want to show you today how to work with alcohol ink on ceramics, how to seal them, how to top coat them with resin and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a professional. Here is my assistant Leo. If something is not clear, please ask me in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So I'm working on these decorative trays for Christmas, they're ceramics and I'm starting by cleaning them with isopropyl. I always pour my isopropyl or blending solution first, then I will add my alcohol ink. I'm using octopus flute alcohol ink now, but you can use any kind of alcohol ink like Copics, Pirata or whatever is available in your country. I know that it might be confusing for you that I'm adding all the colors at once but you don't have to do that you can wait till one ink is dried and you can add another color after that as you see I'm using a straw to move my ink this is actually for the people who don't have any professional tool at home like airbrush or heat gun I just wanted to show you that it's uh, possible to work with alcohol ink without spending so much money on tools. As you see, I have uh, used uh, so much metallics on this one and what I love about alcohol inks is that you can always wipe it with using paper towel and blending solution or isopropyl and you can just add more ink and work again on those parts that you didn't like. So I just want to say something really quick. Uh, that guys I'm not a youtuber I'm not um, English native speaker and I'm just doing this because so many people are asking me on Instagram that how do you do that how do you seal that and they really love to learn I'm just doing this for them uh, to give them a little bit of basic info and I really hope that these videos are helpful so if you want to support me to make more videos, it means the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the process for now. So I am done with this one and I have to just clean the edges with paper towel and isopropyl. And in the next part you will see how I work with alcohol ink using an airbrush on ceramics.
So this one is also done. I just feel that that corner needs a little bit more ink. I just add one drop of ink and I'm trying to cover that part with my silicone brush. So till now you saw how I worked with a straw and an airbrush to move the inks. Now I want to show you how I use my heat gun. And um, it shouldn't be necessarily a heat gun. You can also use a hair dryer with very low power. My heat gun is always set on the lowest temperature. And many people ask me if my Yupo paper doesn't deform when I'm using a heat gun and actually it never happened to me you just need to keep a few centimeter distance from your paper and it will not melt and it will not deform and i just wanted to mention another point here that um, as you see each tool gives you a different result you saw how i worked with straw how i worked with airbrush and how this heat gun gives me another kind of result with the ink and you just need to find your favorite style and your favorite tool and just enjoy the process when you're doing it because it's something that makes you happy it's kind of art therapy So they're ready now for varnishing. I uh, prepared my space for varnishing. If you have an open air space, try to do varnishing outside. And if you don't have any space outside like me, so I just open the window and I, and I usually wear a mask when I'm doing it. Everyone usually use Kamar varnish for alcohol ink, but you can find it here in Austria. So I'm using Windsor Newton gloss varnish. I have tested over 20 different sprays and this is the only one which doesn't ruin my works. So you just need to do it more than one layer, maybe four to five layers till you make sure that the whole work is covered. You have to wait at least 10 to 12 hours for varnish to dry completely. Now I'm wearing my gloves and I want to cover the work with resin. If you have never worked with resin, I recommend to watch a few tutorials on YouTube for beginners to learn how to mix your resin, which resin to use. I will put in description which one I use and I am following the exact instruction which is on a bottle. This one is a 1 to 0 0.9 ratio resin which means that I have to use one part resin and 0 0.9 hardener by weight and I will mix it for at least 3 minutes and I will leave it sit like 10 minutes and in this time all the air bubbles not all of them but most of them will come up and I will have less bubbles when I'm pouring my resin as you see the bubbles have come on the top
Now it's time to check if my table is leveled. It's really important if you work with resin because if your table is not leveled, you will have more resin on one side of your work and on the other side less and it's not going to be even. And as you see, my table was not leveled and I have to remove the white cardboard and check it again. Well, it seems perfectly leveled now, and now we're ready to do the top coat on our trays. So you might have realized that these are actually not exactly the same trays that I made earlier because I want to sell them for Christmas and I want to be 100% happy with them. So I just wiped them and redid them and you can do it as many times as you want. You can just wipe them and redo it till you're happy with your work. So to remove the bubbles, I'm using my heat gun, but you can also use a torch to remove all the bubbles. So if you don't want dust or pet's hair on your work, you have to cover them. And I will leave it almost 16 to 20 hours till resin cures. They came out really gorgeous. I'm so happy with them and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.